and action. Here at Income Property, we work hard all year round. On any given shoot day, there's more than a dozen people. We've got the crew, we've got electricians, we've got the trades, we've got the team. And that's just the tip of the iceberg because we've got another 35 people in the office putting this whole thing together. It takes a huge team to make this happen. What's changed is the magnitude of filming in this province because of uh, government policy. Uh, 20 years ago, we had maybe 50 or 100 actors available. Now we have 500 or more. And we have film crews. We can do four films at the same time with the, a number of people that are in this province. I've been on the show ever since it started, so all four seasons. And it's usually about a five month shoot. And I average about 13 hours a day minimum. <laughs> every day. Everyone has benefited from the spin-off of having Haven here. Um, you know, people have been renting houses here, the uh, building supplies have been selling supplies, the hardware store, the food. Um, no business, I think, has been untouched by Haven. For a place like where Arctic Air is filmed here in the township of Langley, they do over $100 million uh, of business and direct spending and uh, it's revenue stream that they would not normally see. After certain episodes that are out in the wilderness or on a particularly winter wonderland kind of day, people are like, wow, I didn't even know that existed. I want to go to Yellowknife now. Well, I think Artland is, is a postcard of Canada to the world in a lot of ways. I mean, it has international viewership and increasingly large, larger international viewership. I spend uh, way too much time in either this or some other airport. Well, for big budget drama, foreign sales, foreign distribution advances, pre-sales are essential. We don't get financed otherwise. The creative talent and the innovation we've got here in Vancouver enables us to create really world-class properties that, uh, you know, we distribute to over 180 countries around the world. Uh, we've created toy lines and video games and publishing contracts, backpacks, pajamas, you name it. And those are real revenue sources with long-term viability that creates a revenue flow back to Canada, which is quite a different model to what we've seen in the past in the entertainment industry. Thirteen years ago I was sitting in one of these chairs animating and, and thinking of the possibility of creating a studio like this and you know here we are and you know with luck one or two or more of these people will do the same in another 13 years. The unusual thing about supporting this industry, the film industry, is that the return is immediate. So in the case of the media industry, you're getting that return immediately and multiple times that return. It's a double whammy. I mean, not only do you get your money back really fast, you're actually doing something that's good. You're promoting Canadian values. And so it's, it's a cash-positive business for, for, for the government and thus for the people of Canada.